Hey guys. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is a eight inch wooden round. I have taped the back and I've already put a coat of resin on it. It's actually like a milky white coat. It was some extra that I had from another project. It's got like two different kinds of whites. So you can see it's swirled in when it's close up. Anyway, I'm going to end up embellishing this with like glitter lines and all that stuff. So it's going to be a couple steps, but I wanted to put this tattoo on it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I cut around to make sure that it was going to fit. So I'm going to take off this plastic. Put it that way. I guess it really doesn't matter because it's round. So whichever way it's going to go, I can just turn it if I don't like it that way, right? So I'm just going to lay it down and then this is just a makeup sponge that I use um, that holds water and I'm just going to wet this down. Totally saturate it. So I'm probably going to use um, glitter pen or not a glitter pen. These glue plant pens. And then put glitter on it. I may put some butterflies on it. I'm just going to play around with it. I don't really have a huge plan for it. It's just going to be a piece that I'm working on like in between other pieces. I have two acrylic pieces going now and one resin project going now. So this is just going to be a little doodling project. And then you just slide it off. And then it's still wet, so just make sure all the bubbles are out.
I'm going to just dab up the water. Don't rub. Dab. Dab, dab, dab. Okay. There you have it. I'll give you a little close up. Not sure I'm going to film everything I do to it, but I'll keep periodically bringing you back. See how pretty. I love working with these temporary tattoos. I'm putting them on tumblers, artwork. So pretty. And then I can put glitter and stuff on it. Yeah. So there it is. And I'll bring you back when I decide what I'm going to do. I'll probably do a couple glitter lines, then bring you back and show you a couple glitter lines. But there it is. It's all crooked. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Hi, guys. I'm back. I have been working on my little thing um i'll show you close up what i've got so far the glitter lines and i'm gonna do some of the leaves with you this takes a really long time so i didn't want to bore you with it all but i'll just show you a couple leaves but uh, this one I've been using this pen here uh, what's it called it'll be listed in my Amazon links it's blue when it goes down and then it turns white when it's like tacky ready to go this is a really fine fine tip just like a ballpoint pen so let me get you zoomed in here can I just show you one or two of the leaves like i said this is like a a doodling project while i'm waiting for videos to upload or paintings to dry and all that jazz something that uh you can do while binge watching acrylic pouring. These glitters are from Franz Glitter and More. I'm using Nala, which is like a champagne color. A Firefighter, which is the ruby reddish 
watermelon rind, which is what we'll be using for the leaves, and longhorn, which is like a copper, gorgeous. So, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's blue. I moved it to canvas, so let me make sure you're in frame here. See how that right there? Where is it? my pen. Right there is blue on the paper. <laughs> when it gets sticky, see look. When it gets sticky and tacky and ready to use, it will turn clear. Um, let's do let's do this this one here. So with this pen, uh, it's got like a squeezy thing. And then you just push down just a bit on the roller and it will release some. So, as you can see, this takes quite a while when you're doing fine lines like this. But it looks so pretty when it's done. I'm going to bring this stem up. through the middle. And then all the little leafy details. So coming up this week, I am running to Michigan for a couple days. I'll try to pre-plan a couple videos. Maybe by the time you see this one, I'll be in Michigan and try to get them to upload while I'm gone so that I'm not absent in my YouTube channel for a week. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go visit my mom and then my son and my grandson, Remy, 
and then um, I'm going to bring Remy back home when I come. Um, this will be the first time his parents are away from him for more than a night. Uh, last time I was in Michigan, I uh, kept him overnight at my mom's. So, one night was tolerable for them, but I'm not sure how either one of them are going to react when he's gone for like a whole week. <laughs> I'm sure they'll miss him because he's just adorable. But we'll bring him back here. And he could spend a week with Grandma and Grandpa and Uncle Jake. The plan is for a week, but we'll see how long the parents last. I'm guessing they'll be coming to get him before a week is up. He is the 21st of this month. He'll be eight months old already, guys. You believe that? So, yeah, I'm excited about having him here. little nervous. I haven't done the baby thing for a while. But my husband's going to take a couple vacation days so he can spend as much time you know, while he's here with him as he can. As soon as I get the glitter on these guys, then I will let you go. This has got to be super boring for you, but I wanted to show you how um, easy but time consuming this can be. And it's super pretty when it's done. Alright, so I've got all the glue on. I can also use um, the deco foil, but it's got a wider nib on it. I have like three sizes of this. There's like a really thick one, a medium size one. I'm going to just use my heat gun just to hurry some of the glue up. If you're impatient like me, that helps. So these ones are already clear. This one's still a little bit blue. And you don't want to put it on too soon because then when you brush it off, you know, your glue is still going to be wet. I don't think I've ever used this watermelon rind yet. It's one of my brand new glitters. I don't know if you guys order from France Glitter and More, but 
all of her glitters come in a shaker bottle, which is super cool. All right. So basically, you would just put it on. Put it on kind of thick because you want it to stick good. Um, I don't know if you have to do this, but I like to just tap it. Just to make sure it's good and on there. And then... Tip it off. And then just take a paintbrush. To get the excess off. And uh you can put the extras back in your dish. Let me bring it back out and I'll show you what we did. See how fine the lines are? All right. So there you have it, guys. I will... Um, I'm going to finish up the leaves off camera, and then if I decide to do something else to it, I will bring you back and show you. All right, thanks for hanging with me. See you soon. Okay, guys, I put a... I finished the leaves with the glitter lines and then I put a clear coat of resin on it with a little bit of glitter mixed in it. Uh, the glitter on the backing is called Diamonds. It's from Fran's Glitter and More. Same as the other glitters. And then I put a little 3D butterfly on and some little Sorsky crystals. Uh, the 3D butterflies are actually just stickers. I picked them up at Michael's. So, there she is. I didn't film all of the glitter lines because it took so long. And, you know, I mean, I showed you the important parts and... But it was a pretty grueling process, actually. <laughs> but it's something you can do if you're just doodling and you've got a little creative block. You just doodle with glitter. So right now, I just have it in one of these stands, so it can be on a stand, or you can hang it up from, like, right here. But I did the sides. So the 3D butterflies, it's, I put the main piece of the butterfly under the resin and then I just left his top wings out and applied them and put some black crystals for the body. So they are just plastic. 
but they are um, in the bag the wings the top wings are attached but I actually tore the top wings off so I could epoxy over the main butterfly and then I put UV resin on it to stick them back on but I really love am I making you dizzy yet I'm trying to go slow I really like this I love the piece my doodle piece Hard to believe that started out as a temporary tattoo, huh? And I just souped it up. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, please give me a like. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. And uh, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. By the time you're seeing this, I'm probably already in Michigan. I'm going to go up there for a couple days. Spend some time with the family. And then I'm going to grab my grandson and bring him home with me for about a week. If his parents don't chicken out and change their mind. So, but I wanted to make sure that you all had a video to watch. And uh, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate it. The ears and my Amazon links. And uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.